one was short. Careful, it's hot. Oh, you asked for eyes, didn't you? <laughs> it's okay, Amy. Thank you very much. Hello, ladies. We're having a skate off this Saturday at the Pavilion. The Mr. Cole is going to be there, so we're hoping to break the attendance record. Hope to see y'all there. Oh, shit. Look who's coming our way. Uh, ignore her. I always do. Well, the university sure has lowered their standards, haven't they? They certainly have. Hmm. So, how's Corey? I wouldn't know. Yeah. Freaks. Cut. She is a witch. Mm. More than you know. Oh, look at me. I'm a suffering rich girl. Bow down to me. The world owes me. <laughs> you had that dream again, didn't you? You act the same way after everyone. You don't blame yourself, do you? For what happened to Shelly? No, of course not. But I'm going to find out the truth. Someone did this. Someone knows how it happened. Someone knows why it happened. Hello? I'll be there at nine o'clock. Thank you very much. That was Mr. Smith. He said he has something to tell me. Maybe it's something regarding the gang that did this. I don't know why he couldn't tell me over the phone. The bandana they found here, Shelly? Promise me you'll be careful. I couldn't stand anything happening to you like Shelly. Repeatedly. God, you know, it's brutal. I have to do this. There is no one else. You. Are you so goddamn stubborn that you can't see the danger you might be putting yourself in? Well, I'm coming with you. No, Amy. He told me to come alone. Personally, he sounded a little spooked. I need to handle this on my own. Peyton Michaels, I do believe you look as if you were expecting someone else. And you are? I was told you might try to stick your nose where it doesn't belong. Yeah, Mr. Smith, always talking, talking. Except this time, I'm afraid it managed to catch up with it. Your little gumshoe antics have attracted some unwanted attention. Enough to force our involvement. Enough to send you a message. Oh, yeah? Back off, Miss Michaels. Drop it. Or you end up just like Mr. Smith. And I liked him. Do you understand me, Peyton? Drop this. Or you will die. You don't scare me. Go back to your employer and tell them I am not giving up. Tell them I wasn't scared of you or your thugs. Tell them you failed. Or maybe... Maybe I'll just tell him myself.
sir. I'm to see you, sir. Thank you, Margaret. Close the door behind you if you don't mind. What the hell happened out there? We underestimate. I underestimate her. Badly. What do you mean? She's just one girl. Yeah, but... He honestly believes that he's the one that gave the order to kill her. You understand how difficult that was, don't you? The wheels are already in motion on this thing. I can't just... He's one of the 13. But that's impossible. She can't be. Trust me. I wouldn't have believed it either if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. Keep it that way. Maybe we can still make this work. What do you mean? Your help from within the mayor's office was critical to the plan put together by myself and my business associates. The funds they provided us were used to put together a team of specialists. Engineers, scientists, some military personnel capable of moving the monoliths on their own. They're wrapping up the operation as we speak. I had originally requested to be a part of that team, sir. No disrespect. I know all of this already. Yes, so you do. But what you don't know is that while they were excavating, they found something else. Something that made me reevaluate my role in this whole plan. You see, I believe I have found a way to destroy the 13 and to take control of the operation myself. 